Some of the f stuff that was most fun to write for the episode was Michael Maria and the Michael Maria Courtney, that whole storyline. Someone, I don't remember if it was Ron or Jason, came up with the idea of a shrine in Courtney's apartment, which I thought was a fantastic idea. So when I was actually writing the scene of Michael and Maria, and Maria's angry at Michael at this point, so she's not entirely, she's giving him a very hard time, but as they're going through the apartment and looking at things, Maria leaves the room and we hear a scream from the next room. And Michael comes running in. We, we don't know what to expect. She throws up in the closet and there's this shrine. And it was a good scene on paper. But then they made it even more interesting in production by turning out all the lights and giving those two flashlights. So you got kind of a, an X-Files thing going on. And they ended up playing the closet in the same room and looking out at Maria through the slats of the closet. We don't know what we're seeing, but it's kind of scary and a little mysterious. And then again, off screen, you suddenly hear her shriek. And it turned into a moment that was both scary and funny and got you to the next moment story-wise. When you can do that, that's the best. When we were watching the cut, I said something about, it looks so X-Files-y with those flashlights. I wish we could have them say something jokey. And because the director had selected a take in which Maria comes in giggling, I think Ron suggested that we hear them off camera before they come in, make some remark that Maria say something about, I feel like Mulder and Scully. And that's what they did. Well, first thing was the uh, physical appearance. That kind of sets the mood, depending on what you look like. If you feel you look mean, if you feel others will perceive you to be mean, then it's a lot easier to play. So the mohawk and the tattoos and the, the chains and the leather and the big boots, that kind of sets the stage. So you can walk out of the trailer just really feeling it. The second part would be the dialogue. You combine the look with the dialogue, and after that, you basically just make little decisions yourself here and there. I'm still inhibited in some ways in terms of playing a character to its fullest. Because you really put yourself out there and if you put yourself out completely and it sucks, you feel really awful because you gave it the most you had and you still suck. It's almost like not wanting to do something because you don't want to fail. <laughs> the first episode, I didn't think I was good in it all. I thought I, uh, I, thought I really sucked. And it was because I was trying to do a New York accent. I'm terrible at accents, number one, so I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know you had a brother. I live in New York. So then by the second episode of The Dupes, we were told through talks with the producers and the speech coach that we did have on set, and just through seeing the first episode, it wasn't so much of the accent, it was just, it was an attitude you had to give off, that you were cool, that you were punk and it didn't matter what kind of accent you really threw out there. Because I'd been to New York, and not everyone speaks like, you know, New York, blah, 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 you know. Some people just spoke like I did. I don't know what accent that is, just, I don't want to say English, because people in the South are going, no, we speak English down here. No, I'm not going to do a Southern accent. But yeah, you just, I just realized it was more about attitude, and sometimes it takes a little while to kind of find the character, and, it's, and I figured if I was going to look stupid, I might as well look stupid going the whole way, because I might pull something I didn't know out of me. You know, it gave me a chance to play a completely different character and see if I could pull it off. I think for beyond playing the boyfriend or the cool guy or, or anything, playing an actual character character, that's really not Brendan Fair. It was the first time I had done it. So I gave it a shot, and I, I thought I did a lot better in the, um, in the second episode. I thought I was almost good. <laughs>